Johnny Smart. I play the cello in the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra. Um, I've been involved with the Pizzicato Effect since it began 18 months ago. What we're doing today is we've got all the new grade twos who are starting the program because our program begins at the year two level. So some of these children will have seen cellos and violins and violas before. Um, they would have seen the older children playing them at the school. Um, but for them it's their first contact with the instrument uh, in a class setting. Um, what that will involve today is we've got four groups coming through and they'll each get a chance to hear violin and viola and I'll demonstrate the cello. Right, you can try playing. Now we put our fingers, this is called the fingerboard, this bit here. Yes, can you can you can you can you. Okay, we always play up here. Always play in this bit here. No. Good, okay. We're going to put you down for a quarter size. So, using just your finger, you're going to start uh, playing pizzicato, yes? It's lacking, it's called pizzicato, it's Italian. Yes, that's how you look at that. My name's Andrea Keeble, I'm a violinist and I play with the Melbourne Symphony. Um, today, we're, it's the first day of the Pizzicato Effect uh, project for 2011. Very exciting because it also includes Wilma Smith, uh, the concertmaster of Melbourne Symphony, to come in and demonstrate to the children. From the very bottom of the instrument, still on the highest string, actually can go even higher than that. Still hear it? It sounds like a girl screaming, the little sister. <laughs> girl screaming. If it goes much higher than that, only dogs can hear it. Did you know that dogs can hear much higher than we can? Uh, what I find interesting is how enthusiastic the students are. They come in and they're really excited to learn. How about when you hold this one? When I hold it down, you'll make another sound. You make a different pitch. Um, they've probably been told a little bit about what's going to happen before they come in. Uh, certainly they come in and they're full of excitement. Um, some of them know about the instrument, uh, some of them may know, might have forgotten, but they come in and they're generally pretty excited and I think they're aware that they're a part of something special. Great. About two at the same time. You could go. Would you like to have a go Beautiful. And what about Beautiful. Fantastic. Beautiful. So I'd say that you're a quarter size cello. We will What's be that? measuring them up for different instruments um, to see whether they're quarter half size or, or maybe even an eighth size on the cello. And that sort of gives us a chance to plan the instruments that we need for when they actually come in and start learning with us. Thank you. It's really important because we need to make sure we've got the right instruments for the classes. Because uh, obviously if your instrument doesn't fit right or it's not quite the right size, you won't be able to play things as well and they'll be feeling uncomfortable, and won't be making the right kind of sounds. So we need to get it all right from the beginning. My name is Samantha and I like the cello because it's a big instrument and I like big things. I had a lot of fun because I was lying down and I was listening to beautiful music.